Well, President Biden is seeking new tax reporting rules for cryptocurrencies in his budget proposal, aiming to raise about $11 billion from digital asset traders. For more on that, let's bring in our crypto reporter, Yahoo Finance's own Jennifer Schoenberger. Jen, what can you tell us about this? Good afternoon, Rochelle. That's right. President Biden looking to raise taxes on the ultra wealthy and corporations, but also tucked inside that budget proposal, new tax reporting requirements for crypto. The U.S. Treasury offering up four new tax proposals for crypto, including expanding tax treatment for securities lending involving crypto, requiring more tax reporting requiring more tax reporting on foreign owners in crypto transactions, expanding reporting tax requirements for foreign crypto accounts in excess of 50,000, so essentially allowing the U.S. and foreign countries to share information with each other about crypto trades made on domestic exchanges and share that information with each other for tax purposes, as is already done with traditional securities like stocks. Now, this proposal would also seek to elect to allow traders to elect to mark their crypto trades to market. So essentially, when you mark to market, you recognize that day's current value at the end of that session. Now, Treasury is not classifying crypto as a security or a commodity. They believe it stands as its own asset class. And as you mentioned, these proposals, uh, Treasury says, could raise as much as $11 billion over the next 10 years, with nearly half of that coming from the mark-to-market proposal. Now, Roger Brown, global head of tax strategies at Chainalysis, says that this is an acknowledgement that this is a serious asset class. He says it acknowledges that they're a mature asset class that should be treated on par from a tax perspective with traditional financial assets like stocks and bonds. He says, I think it will accelerate adoption of digital assets, Web3 assets as a sensible business model and as an asset class. So, Rochelle, again, these are simply proposals at this time from the administration. They would need to be approved by Congress and become law before they are implemented. Now, notoriously, these budget proposals are not implemented through law, but analysts, including Jarrett Seberg over at Cowan Securities, believes that these proposals have enough support by lawmakers and could be tucked into other sorts of legislation, including potentially a narrower version of that Build Back Better bill. Rochelle. So then in terms of goals, you mentioned mark to market. Is that a way to crack down on tax evasion? And how does the industry see this? Yeah, so two points there. One, yes, this uh, the government does see this as a way to crack down on tax evasion. And also by sharing information with foreign governments and vice versa, that gives them the information on their crypto trades so that they can fix the appropriate taxes to those gains as needed. But I also want to note that the industry sees this as a potential positive because, because it could include rules of the road. They have such a data headache right now to track all of those trades, to go from their digital wallet to trading on a U.S. exchange like Coinbase, to then go trade on an international crypto exchange like Binance, and then have to tra trace all of that and figure out what their cost basis is, they would actually welcome these new rules. A lot of moving parts indeed. Thank you for getting us up to speed. Yahoo Finance's own Jennifer Schoenberger.